it was such an amazing experience that, in fact, at the time I was very young when I rented a house. I didn't have a house of my own at the time I, I, because I needed a place to pray every, every afternoon. Hello, somebody. I was squatting, with in some, squatting somewhere that wasn't really comfortable. So I decided that I needed a place I would be praying every afternoon. You know, I love to pray in the afternoon at the time. So every afternoon I would leave what I was doing. I would drive them to my house, you know. I used to have a bike, and I would go and pray. That was my first motivation of renting my first house. The first house I ever rented, my motivation was to have a place of prayer. Hello, somebody. And, and it, was such an, it was such an amazing experience with the Lord. I tell you, it was, you know, that time, anything to pray, God just does it. You, you have a simple faith. Hello, somebody. You're not questioning him. You're not playing game with him. You just want to serve him. And that is where we should be today. We are saying this is the beginning of the month, right? And we call it commanding your man. I guarantee you, most people that are not here tonight, there are people that are busy, maybe they are working, understandable. But most people that are not here tonight are people that, that probably have a list of prayers. Hello, they are the people that really have a number of things they want to see God do this month. But call them to come and pray. Prayer is the key. There is no better way. Hello, somebody. If you don't, you don't pray, forget about it. As long as you're a Christian, even Jesus. For me tonight, I need to pray. Jesus, who came in the form of man, hello, though was fully God in flesh and fully man on earth, yet had time. Hello, somebody. Even though there was, God, hey, there was man dimension, but also he had God dimension in the body. He could have been float, floating and flowing on that dimension. By the way, I'm God also, even though I'm man. But he had time to pray. So, for me, this is, this, is, this is the proof of the argument. If you think that praying is not necessary, but every morning Jesus would make some time, make some time for himself, go to, you know, to a solitary place and pray. Hello, somebody. If Jesus had time to pray every morning in order to walk in power, that is a definition itself that I need to pray. That is the clear and call to prayer. We must pray. Prayer is not an optional thing. Every religion prays. Hello, somebody. Every Muslim pray, Hindus pray, I know, whatever religion they belong to, they pray. That shows prayer is, you know, is something you cannot neglect. And it's something we all need to do. If you don't know how to pray, you're not ready to receive. And the, Jesus leaves his comfortable place to pray. Hello, somebody. He will leave his comfortable place, go to a solitary place to pray. Many years ago, I had a friend. He told me that he, you know, he was having a lot of challenges with the wife. So every morning, he will leave the house and go to the bush. He said, he normally go to the bush to pray. This is, this is not a you know, story. At the time, the, the, the wife used to tell you, you're disturbing me. You're dis <laughs> Have you been in that situation? God forbid you, you know, God forbid you marry a man or a woman who will see prayer as a disturbance. Once you have such a person, you're already gone. You're already just, just, just mark yourself, take yourself, go. <laughs> because the enemy will, will just make food of you. The enemy will just have you as a lunch. You know, you become the, the lunch of the enemy. As long as you're a Christian and you don't know how to pray, forget about it. The enemy will come and steal your substance, spiritual substance, steal your potential at night, do all sorts of things with you, and leave your house with the destiny of your children. These things are real. So whatever you do, make sure you are, God bring people into your life if you're not yet married. Who believe in the same thing that you believe in. Hello? If you marry the wrong person, you are, consider yourself gone. Hello? Now let's, let's begin with this. In, in our night video, we are discussing, um, remember we did, um, um, we were talking on glo in Keys to Glory Expansion. I didn't finish that, so I want to quickly touch on some things on that regard. If you really want to have glory in your life, if you want to have manifestation, if you want something good to happen to you, okay, there are things you need to do. Even unbelievers understand principle. Many unbelievers understand that for you to be able to 
uh, from somebody like Mike Jordan. Some of you know the guy, basketball player, from, you know, basketball player. He said a day he used to try, pr- practice about a thousand times. He lost somebody, keep throwing the ball in the basket in order to be a, a Michael Jordan. So if you're saying, I want to be a great man of God, I want to be used of God, I want to see miracle, there are things you literally need to do. Hello? If you don't do it, forget about it. Oh, hallelujah. Now, if you want to see manifestation in your life, what you've got to learn to do is to speak what you believe. Speak what you believe, okay? Whatever you believe in, you will naturally become through proclamation. Whatever you believe in, you will naturally become through proclamation. If you read the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 13 to 14, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 13 to 14, Alam Asa Hombo Shila Hando Shokabalando. Oh, speaking tongues if you can. Mele Hando Sokorabanda. Can ask Pastor Steve. Labala Hando Seka Labahando. Lebras Lebrahando Zika Brahando Halabahando Horabanda. Second Corinthians four, thirteen to fourteen. Lord, we give you praise, we give you thanks, we give you adoration. Lord, we thank you as we command this month. In the name of Jesus, Shalabahando, Ekreto, Elebrando, Itolo Bazando. This is walking Nebrahando, Kebalahala Bozendia, Elebabaando, Sikapahando. Lord, we give you all the praise, all adoration in the name of Jesus, Shalabahando. Lord, we give you praise in the name of Jesus, Sambele. Lord, we bless your name in the name of Jesus, Sikalabahando. Oh Lord, we take care of Balahando Sukiriando. Father, we take over the atmospheres. Labara Sila Brahando, Lebra Labranda Labrasika Labahando, Baleli di Hando, Sika Labahando, Calabahando, Ecro Zebrianto, Zeca Priando. Lord, we give you praise, Alabando. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Halabro Zika Prihando. E kreto, ne kreto, e rando, zi prehiando. Just speak in tongues if you can. De brandio, e le briando, zimbrindiando. E le briando ho ziaka, e kele si ho nimaha. E zinambrion antro zi capriando. E brelio e inahando, zi calaba, ze libando, ze capriando. Lord, we worship your name in the name of Jesus. Shile e katu, lebranianto calahando, e crezo bili ando, ze briando, e ra calabrasia entro colienda, e ramala ilabrando colovo ze cala antrosia. E galadando zia, e galazo colobo zia and roco, e labrahando, rebrahando, sicalabahando, e casalibranio, ze calianto, e brando zu kibi ini ando, e grando zibriando, ze capriando, zembraniando, calabando, ze cabahando, e carabando, zilebriando, zilebriando. Father, we worship you in the name of Jesus, shilabahando, e ketobo, vi into, le gadiando. Rabra Zindro, Celebrando Sikiria, E Tremino in Tuli Andea, E Kando Zika Palianderi Alahando, E Krasandu Li Cambrianando Cosia, E Labrando Zeli Anto Mahando, Lobahando, somebody speaking tongues if you can. Elebriando, Celebriando ho zikilia, Elebanzu calabahando, Ekedu zili entronia, Lord, we give you the praise in the name of Jesus. Shilebrando, E presuni ilehando, Zile canto, Ebraniando, Lord, we give you the praise in the name of Jesus. Elebrando, Zikabriando, Halabra, Elebra Santo, Ekebindo, Celebrando, unto this shall be the gathering of your people. We have gathered today, Malabriando, Ekretu, Gabrianto, Ze canto, lebriando, e croto, e canto, e lebrando, colobozondo, e keto, e keto, e keto, embrani, colo into, gambrania. Lord, we give you the praise that you deserve, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. 
Alabando Sika, thank you for taking over this atmosphere. Thank you for what you're about to deposit tonight. Thank you for what you're about to break in the spirit realm in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for what you're about to cleanse, purge, and purify in the name of Jesus. Thank you for what you're about to sow. We thank you for this first week of the day, Malahanda, first day of the week, and Balahanda, and of the month, E Kotu, E Kalaba, Indrodo, E Lendo, Kalabahando, Kelebondo. Lord, even as we share the word right now, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that your word. Lord, we come to thee, Irakan to Kepriando, your word we kabahando, we reach out to thee. E kedondo, e labraziando, e creto, e lebo, e legando, zile abindo, e lebriando, ze canto ya, e crozon di librando, e labrazica antroyanda. Lord, we give you the praise that you deserve in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive all the glory. Receive all the thanks. Receive all adoration in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. God is good. First Corinthians, Second Corinthians chapter 4, 13, the 14. Go back to 13. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Rabba, see, and since we have the same spirit of faith, now this is Paul writing in accordance with what is written, according to what is written, and we have discovered that we have the spirit of faith. We have discovered, based on what we have read and based on what was said on what was written, we have discovered that we have the spirit of faith. Amen? And since we have the same spirit of faith, now, the spirit of faith here is not talking of the Holy Spirit. It is talking of your spirit, a determined human spirit wanting to connect to the divine spirit of God. Okay. And since we have the same spirit of faith in accordance with what is written, in line with the word of God, I believe, and therefore I spoke, I believe in what is written through the spirit of faith, Therefore, I speak. Amen? Amen? What am I speaking? And therefore, uh, therefore, I spoke. We also believe and therefore speak. You need to first believe before speaking. One thing is to believe. Another thing is to speak. A lot of time, we speak empty ways. Now, one of the reasons some people, when they speak, and their word gains momentum in the realm of the spirit. Hello, somebody. is because they are speaking from the dimension of spirit of faith. You can, somebody can come say, in Jesus' name, move. Let the spirit of God move. You will see the dimension of grace that will overflow the house. Whether the person shout or says softly, it carries a grace, a carry dimension or spiritual momentum because of his or her believing system. When the enemy attacks your believing system, you are God. Because once you, a lot of time, you know why the enemy attacks our believing system? The enemy will uh, boomerang you with all sort of trouble. The enemy will make sure that your problem amplifies your problem. And any time the enemy amplifies your challenges, amplifies your trouble, and you pray and pray, and that problem seems not to be solving, you tend to think, I, think, I don't think there is God. Even if there is God, it's like it's not working. This thing is not real. Have you been in that place before? When you've tried and tried, believed and believed, and you came to church, and the pastor kept telling you the same thing, that God will do it. And God will do it. And you keep wondering, does it does not really work? Maybe it worked for other people, but <laughs> maybe for you it doesn't work. And the more, you know, maybe we have a miracle service, we have a great Sunday, we have, you know, amazing month, you know, you feel the fire of God on Sundays, on Monday, boom, something strikes. And this thing always happens when you're almost close to the, to, to the presence, when you're almost going deeper and digging deep, you know, to know him more, to embrace him more, and to love him more, and something goes boom. And you think, whoa, this thing, it, it doesn't work. So you come on Sunday, the pastor is preaching, you're just there. Cross your leg. 
and your hands. You don't even care. You're not even moving. You say, I've been hearing this thing for 10 years. My problem hasn't changed. These things happen. You just all, you're coming because you've been in church for a very long time, right? You don't want to disappoint other brethren that you're no longer a believer. So you needed to come, just keep coming, but you're already dead in your spirit. You love God, but you're, you don't believe that it work. Hello, somebody. There is no spirit of what faith Faith dead, everything about you dead. You are just a moving cops. And it, it can't even put it to ways. It don't even know. Hallelujah. Thank you for connecting. My genius is to say I'm connected. <laughs> she hardly connects, so praise God. She said, <laughs> help me, Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> so you just come to church and you know you are going through pain. And every day this world has been preached how God will change your world. How God have all this sort of plan for you. And you know those things are, are, are written but honestly it's not working for you. You know the enemy keep on the, the, the more the enemy knows you are feeling that way the more he amplifies it. He amplifies your pressure. Amplifies your trouble, ampli amplifies your challenges. Every time you're close, allow somebody to connect and something happens. Because if the enemy ever allows you, allow somebody <laughs> to have a little bit of peace, you will start believing in that Bible, start believing in that world, <laughs> start believing in all that was that, that has been preached. So they will make sure they follow you back to back. You know what they call bomba to bomba. Have you heard of that? Heard that thing? Bomba to bomba. <laughs> Hello, somebody. They amplify your problem. This things happens every day. Have you seen when a young man is going after in a young girl? They keep putting pressure on her. Pressure, pressure. They make sure they don't give you space so you don't change your mind. Mm. Hello, somebody. That is what the enemy does. But any time your problem or your predicament is being amplified in the spirit, you must know that you are actually closer to God than you, you were in the past. Anytime you see intense challenges, I want you to know that you are actually closer, but the enemy is trying to block that access you have to God or with God. But if you are in the natural, you're going to be thinking that the, those problems around you is a, an indication that God is far from you. Many times, it's actually an indication that God is too close to you and the enemy is mad that you are a friend of God. Hello? Don't, don't, let, don't let them distract you. So, what you've got to understand is this. Any time, look at Job. Job was not, he was very close to God. He was praying just like you. But all sort of problem amplified. Does that make him unrighteous? He wasn't unrighteous. But why was such a righteous man had to endure such a great pain and persecution? Oftentimes, we make devil make us feel as though we aren't worth nothing. I was handling a deliverance you know, a few weeks ago, and the demon was mentioning all that, you know, the, all that they have put in that, that have made that lady look like. And then they were mentioning all the, all the, the spirits in her. The demon was mentioning and was mentioning, and at the point, the, the, the demon stopped saying, I said, is there anything next? He said, one, but I don't want to say it. I said, <laughs> I said what next? Hallelujah. Have you invested in her? Hello, somebody. He said, no, no, no. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. This is exactly what the demon said. And I said, what? You have to say it now in Jesus' name. And the demon said, she's worthless. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you been feeling that way? Worthless. Worthless. That's what you hear all the time. Worthless. Worthless. So the devil will make you feel as though you're, known, you're nobody known Entity, known and entity. That means you don't have an entity. Hello? So when you start feeling that way, what do you do? You stop believing anything believable. 
though you come to church, but it is your ghost presence in the church, not the real you. Your ghost body, not your real spirit, because you no longer, it's no longer working for you. And once the enemy gets you in that dimension, they are happy, they start celebrating, but they have captured you. Hello, somebody. But you know, some is, uh, Paul said, we believe and therefore we are spoken. Go back to that verse 13 again. Oh, Lord. Something might come and stuck in one place. He said, and since we have the same, the same spirit of faith in accordance with what is in the world of God. I believe, therefore, I spoke also not just me, also we believe the congregation and therefore we speak the same voice that God is raising KMGC a mega voice in the nation. And that's what we came to do. Because anytime you let one person keep believing for, for a corporate vision, it can be challenging sometimes. But if you believe the same, it makes it more easier to achieve what God is saying. You can just believe alone. Yes, it's beautiful. But what about if we believe today? Say, with all, with that dimension of believing that is out of this world. And say, God, give us this nation and we are ready. We are not just praying it. But we are committed to see it happen and to invest time, invest money, invest whatever we know. When we do that, you will see what God will do. And then go, Kabalhando, the next verse. I'm not, uh, let me see the next verse. Now, I don't have more emphasis there, but just verse 14. It says, knowing, we believe, after, and after, we, we, we also have believed. Say, knowing that the one who raised in Lord Jesus will also raise us, us, us will, will raise us also with Jesus and present us with you. This is what they believe in. So we are very sure. We are not doubting that this prayer tonight is going to be very, very fruitful. Amen. I don't know about you. My match was very good. <laughs> what about you? I say my match was very good. Amen. My air prayer will be fantabulous. Amen. Fantastic. <laughs> Somebody says fantamavalous. <laughs> if you believe it, so shall it be. I don't know about you. You've got to enjoy your Christian life. I, I, I must tell you, I'm enjoying my Christian life. Hallelujah. Is there anybody here that is really enjoying work with God? The only restless I have, you know, my only restlessness is wanting to see more of God in my life and in the church of God. Apart from that, I'm not restless for anybody and for anything. I'm only restless to please God and to dig deep in his presence. If your Christian life is a burden, come, let's pray for deliverance over you. Hello, somebody. If you're no longer, you know, somebody's pushing you to go to church, to pray, to do things of the Lord, you've lost it. No, nobody pushed me to do the things of God. Hello, somebody. You should be hungry. I don't know. You know, we should, we should be, we should, oh, God. Hi, we, this is the conference day. We should all, hello, somebody. Be coming to church with such exuberance of grace and love and peace. You know, you come to God with such elegance of the spirit. Amen. Hello, you're so happy to be a child of God. You feel good about it. You feel loving. You feel, Lord, I bless your name for making me a child of God. Amen. What is it that is troubling you? Obviously, we do have challenges. No doubt about it. Hello, somebody. But also remember, you are a child of the King of King and the Lord of Lord. Now, we say these things, but we, I don't actually believe it. Hello? Could you imagine being, you know, the, the son of a Queen Elizabeth? Hello, somebody? You, you will be saying, now, what about Meg? <laughs> what about Meg? <laughs> is, he, is he enjoying it all? But let me tell you, hello, how much D has he signed right now? Is it about how many million dollars? Is it about 13 million or so? He just signed a deal with a particular company. Is it, what is it that about him? Is, is it not because of his lineage? Lord, what is it that he has that he doesn't have that, that for you to sign a deal for about how many million dollars? Because of his root. But you should know your root. And your what? Anytime we say we are the son of the king of kings and the lord of lords, some of us think, mm, uh. but this thing is true. There is king of king and there is lord of lords. <laughs> no doubt about it. How do I know? 
If you don't know there is God, go to, you know, go to somebody, watch somebody that the deliverance is being conducted and see how the demon believes. You will know there is another kingdom. Why is it that we don't believe these things? Hallelujah. Acts chapter 15 verse 11. Acts chapter 15 verse 11. We need to end. We need to end religious Christianity. Start being somebody that carries the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Bible says, on the contrary, on the contrary, in spite of all that we're saying, we believe we are saved. Hallelujah. Through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way they are. I don't want to go into the context of this scripture. This was when Paul was, they, were, they, they wanted the second, you know, the, you know the, um, most of the disciples of Jesus wanted the Gentiles to be circumcised. And also, so they went to the, to the headquarter in Jerusalem just to inquire if that needed to happen, Paul and his colleague. So James, the pastor of the church, and Peter, the apostolic father, began to advise them. But, but what I'm taking is the test of the scripture. In spite of all that you've been through, even if we don't pray tonight, if you can grab one scripture and go home, it's going to work for you. Amen. On the contrary, on the contrary, are you there somebody? We believe we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way they are. In spite of all I'm going through, I'm believing that this month is going to be a greater month for you, for me. On the contrary. So when he said this, this, this natural was before you, you are saying it, but he's the inch part of it all. I refuse to see it. That I walk toward that wall with my eyes closed. You'll be shocked when you get close there. You will discover there is no longer wall after the word. There is no longer wall. Hello, somebody. I've seen wars in my life, I'm telling you. I've seen some restricting wars, contending wars, and all sorts of wars wanting to discourage me. But because God also has warmed me with a wall of fire. <laughs> in spite of the wars you've seen in your life, remember there is also another wall around you. On the contrary, this month is going to be a better month. No matter what you say. James chapter 1, verse, verse 5 to 7. James 1, verse 5, 5 to 7. The word of God is a spirit. And we need to believe in the word. James chapter 1, 1, I say 1, 5 to 7. We need to believe in the word of God with all, our, all of our heart. If the devil speak, we believe it. Hello, somebody. If you go to the street and somebody sees you, say, look, I'm Satan, you, I'm going to deal with you. Go back home and say, oh, Lord, and start praying because you believe it. Because if you don't pray to cancel it, that means you don't believe it. <laughs> but, but for the fact that you went home and prayed to cancel what somebody, negative somebody, neg the negative somebody said against you, implies that you actually believe it. But I tell you now, some of you will believe the scriptures when you get home. <laughs> because you hear it every Sunday. Hello. Now, if any one of you lacks wisdom, lacks miracle, lack breakthrough, lack healing, lack visitation, lack an encounter, he should ask God. Amen. Who gives to all? To some? To some? To all. Generously. And without criticizing. Hello, somebody. Without saying you're too black, too yellow, too poor, too green, too white. Hello, somebody. Without criticizing. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And it will be given to him. Hello. Amen. Glory to God. I'm enjoying myself. I don't know about you. Pastor Pia, you really enjoy. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, praise God. Praise God. Okay, go on, go on. Verse 6. Verse 6. You say, hand <clears throat> But let him do what? Ask in faith. In believing system. Let's, without what? Doubting. Sometimes we come, we bind, we bind, you know, all this good, good in prayer. But some of us don't even believe it. We just make the shouting. Hello, somebody. But we don't even believe it. 
But let him ask in faith without doubting. For the Duchess is like the surgeon sea. Surgeon, you know how a surgeon sea, driven and touched by the wind. Those who doubt are like surgeon sea. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. These things are written in the word. And we keep asking, why is it that we're not getting breakthrough? Hello? You say, oh, why am I not getting breakthrough? But already, even before you pray, we pray you have defeated the prayer. You are the one polluting and defiling your prayer. And you are the one accusing the pastor and God that these things are not working. Pastor, you've been saying this all the time. You know, we, we hear it. All these things all the time. But then, that is why any time I have a problem, I never blame God. I've married now for about 15 to 16 years. Is it 16? Is it up to 16? Or still in the 15 level? <laughs> I'm asking first lady. <laughs> Yo, she's not even here. I don't know if I'm still on 15 dimension or 16. Where are we now? <laughs> that means she's enjoying it. She's no longer counting numbers. <laughs> Hello, somebody. I'm telling you, ask her. I, she, she hardly hear me you know, saying something against God or blaming God for things we're not able to do or things we've been through. Never. I first take the blame. Anytime things go wrong, First thing, I just go to the presence of God and say, Lord, maybe I've done what is not right. Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe I first go to God asking God to show me mercy. Don't, don't dare blame God. Lots of times when it is not working, it's just that we are not following the principle. Principle works everywhere in the world. Are we making sense? Even unbelievers. Somebody wrote me this morning and said, you know what? If you know, you, you saw some, some, one unbeliever and the person was saying that he discovered how to observe the principle. And since he, he discovered, a lot of somebody has been working for him. And the person wrote me and said, look at an unbeliever. You know, they know the principle, but we don't know. I said, no, I wrote to the person this morning. I said, you no, know, we know the principle, but we are too lazy to believe. We are too familiar. And then after that communication or that discussion or conversation, I sat down, I was thinking about that this conversation, and I said, God, most of your friends you know, none of them go to church on Sunday, most of them. Do you, now, what do they hear every time when you go to church? They are scrolling, right? They are watching something in YouTube. Some of this and that thing that appeal to the flesh, not even to mind, to their mind. Now, you come to church every Sunday, every Sunday. Bible study, Sunday service. Hello, somebody. Now, you receive quality information. This information are out of this world. They are supernatural. They are not in the realm of man. Oh. Now, and after receiving, the Bible says in, in the book, book of John 1.1, 1, 1, the beginning was the world. The word was with God, and the word is God. And what you receive is the word of God, which is God, who is not in the dimension of man. Amen. Hello, somebody. Yes. Oh. So after receiving it, you will go home now and feel that, mention me somebody's name that is not in this church. <laughs> Can you remember any name, better man or woman? John, Paul. <laughs> So, how can I go home? Watch this. This is important to know before we start praying. How can I go home and believe that Paul is more wisdomable than me? Paul that is not being fed. His spirit man is not being fed. And my spirit, the things of the spirit rules the natural. Before anything happened in the natural, it has already taken place in the spirit realm. Hello, somebody. So after I, I keep receiving quality word apart from my normal and my formal education, but every Sunday I receive something that is not in the dimension in the realm of man. Amen. Then I will not see John or Paul or even Peter or James and thinking that they are, they are more smarter than me. They don't even go to church. They have nothing to do with God. They are not receiving any top up every Sunday. 
no top up, but you receive. You know when you buy a telephone from time to time, even though the, te the telephone is working, they ask you to update the app. Let somebody, they ask you, you keep updating the app. That's what happens when you receive the word of God. You keep updating yourself. You should be more smarter than, you know, than Adam. Tama kohi lahanda. Adam never read any book before. Adam never read the Bible. Am I talking to somebody? Didn't, he didn't read. He didn't have opportunity to read the word of God. Though he fellowship with God. Though the word was with him. In the garden. Okay, Lord. He sees the word. So he needed not to read. But the word comes and goes. Though the presence of the word was in the garden. Hello, somebody. But now you sleep with the word every day. How dare Peter or James, who is not in the kingdom of God, are living better life than me? It is an error. Hello, somebody. It is an error. It is none of God. For people, for unbelievers to be in high places. And we are the one trying to fit in. It is an error because we are the children of the king. It should never happen. That is why you, the child of God, must be so bold, not bold and arrogant, but a bold, have that dimension of boldness, knowing that you are a servant of the most high God. And nobody there talk you out of your miracle, out of your favor, that no demon, no wickedness, no man, no woman will bring you down from what you believe in. They can be paid better than you. They don't know what you know. Every, do you know, I said to the person, this summer, I said, no, 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 don't, don't say that. The unbelievers are no wiser than us. But they are just more smarter. You know why? We are relaxed. Because we have these things on the, on the, you know, on what do you call it? Like, like a bed of roses. On a platter of gold. It comes freely. Tell me some of your friends that are at home right now. Are they receiving any word? Nothing. They are scrolling. And let somebody... But you receive it every Sunday. Why can't we have more, rule more, impart more? Because we know better. Amen. They don't know better than you, let me tell you. They don't know. They don't have wisdom. And that's why they die. They will be rich, have fame all of a sudden. Boom, they are gone. Drug, alcohol. Does that show that they are, they are, they are, they are wisdomable? They don't have wisdom. <clears throat> so never you neglect yourself. Because you are the talk of the moment in heaven. Amen. Last somebody, you are the you are the apogee of God's creation. You are the joy of heaven. Amen. When God says that you're worshiping now, He's so happy. Amen. So all we need to do now, you know, I could just jump into the prayer and I'm good, good, we pray. But if you don't believe the prayer, the month will still remain stagnant. Amen. But if you receive the, the word of God and believe in the word. You keep talking the word. The enemy comes after you, but you keep talking the word. Hey, it broke out against you. Keep talking the word. No matter what happened, you believe it will work. It will work. It's going to work. It doesn't matter. We prayed in the beginning of the month. That the month is going to be a better month. You keep believing. You keep talking the word. You see what happened. Can you see? Can you, can, if somebody keep talking cause on your ear every day. He says, you say your cause. A lot, you're walking past the street every morning. The person we can stand there and say, your cause. A lot, every morning, you're walking, the person say, your cause. Everywhere you go, you'll be hearing, I'm cause. Am I talking to somebody? It will be ringing, even though you don't want to receive it. It will be ringing in your ears. A lot, even that word, if the person keeps talking that word for, three, for, for, for one month, it will become even your dream. Even though you, you're rich, you don't want it, it will become something you feel. It's like you're feeling cold all over you. If care is not taken, you start believing, you start taking it in. Because this is what you hear. But I've told you that this morning you are blessed. Amen. So why don't you not carry this world? Oh, hallelujah. Anywhere you go, you say, you say well, the, the priest in the house told us that we are blessed and we believe the word of the priest of God rather than the word of hell. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. This scripture jumped into my head. Let me show you um, before. I hope that we are actually praying the prayer already. We are praying the prayer. Am I right about it? Okay, Mark chapter two, 2 verse 7. 
So now, it's why do I believe the word of hell than I believe the word of God? Amen. Why? Why? Why do I believe the things I see? Than to believe what was being said from the altar. The Bible says, Malachi, Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. And the Bible says, from the mouth of the priest, men ought to seek instruction because he is a servant of the most high God. For the lips of a priest, are you there? Ought to, should guide, some say ought to, should guide knowledge. And people should seek instruction from his mouth because he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts, what qualify him for the people to receive a word of how the man should be is because he is a messenger of the Lord. Ch ch change another translation. I wish to talk in somebody. Amen. Oh Lord. Lord, Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we bless your name in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I just want to show us. I'll, I'll, I want to show us what is scripture. For the priest lives should what? Keep knowledge. Keep it. And they should stay. They, the congregation, the people of God, should seek the Lord at his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Not because he knows better than them, but because I have appointed him. Man, and any time you come to him, word will come from his mouth for you. Amen. That is what Jesus said to his people. He said, anywhere you're going, his disciples, he said, don't worry what you will say. Even when you're about to be persecuted or judged, he said, when you're in that situation, I will give you a word. Amen. Now, instead of believing that it's not working, it's not going to work, it hasn't worked before, you know, why don't you believe that I have come under the instruction of the almighty God to say to you, this month is going to be your month of defining moment, a month of empowerment, that things that has never worked before will work for you as we pray and declare and command and decree that something new will happen, literally happen in your life because this is what the world says. Let me show you this, please, please, please. Psalms 116, 911. Now, in Psalms, the guy in Psalms, I want to show you now, the, the guy in Psalms spoke negative because of the things he saw in the natural that was contrary to his expectation. It says, here, the Psalms, remember, the most of the Psalms was not only written by David. But I think David stopped writing from about 70 something. He lost somebody. Now, I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Now, this is your expectation for this month. You want to like be in the presence of God. You want to love God more. You don't want any negativity. You don't want no one to share on you, talk to you. He lost somebody. He just want a free, smooth life. Right? Who doesn't want free, smooth life? You want everybody to smile with you. <laughs> you are, hey, I love you. And I love you. Everybody to say that. But you're never ever going to grow. Hello, somebody. What is Now, I believe even when I said I am. No, go back to that scripture before we, we jump. Echo in the handle. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. This is my expectation. Then verse 10. Now, see what happened in verse 10. I believe even when I said I am severely afflicted. All right, now use another translation here. Something happened here. If when I say I'm severely afflicted, he say, I believe. Though I'm seeing the affliction, I believe. But something happened in verse 11. But here say, I believe, therefore, have I spoken, I was greatly afflicted. He said, I believe before, and I spoke, and I've spoken, I was greatly afflicted. He was believing before that this was going to be good in verse 9. Then in verse 11, I said in my haste, because of my affliction, that all men are liars. But in verse 9, he was like, hey, I'm going to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. And after the prayer, you leave the house. Then something smooth, boom. He said, oh, does Christianity actually work? <laughs> does it really work, Lord? Does it work? Everything I'm believing is known. We know it's working. No one is working, Lord. Why me again, Lord? Why me? 
And the devil steal everything you have learned. Hello, somebody. I really feel to cry for you. <laughs> now, don't let the month intimidate you. You should intimidate your mind. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, I have the anointing to intimidate my month. That means anything you command the month to give you, it shall give it to you. In the name of Jesus. Confess what you have believed God to do for you on a daily basis this month. Okay? Numbers 14, 28 says, As I hear them say, so shall I do unto them. Numbers 14, 28, As I hear them say, what are we going to say? And even if we say two prayers, even if we just say, Lord, mercy, Lord, and we go home with such a crazy believing system, see, what, see God, see God work. When you become so stubborn in the spirit, refuse to change your, com your confession. In spite of your attack, you are on that barrage of attack. But you refuse, refuse stubbornly in the Holy Ghost, not in flesh. Refuse to change your confession. I keep on saying that KMG will be a mega church. Even when we go down, I keep saying the same thing. I haven't changed since that, since we started. I keep saying every time. But some people, they are not, their eyes are not even open to see it. Amen. In Psalm 81 verse 10, it says, open wide your mouth, the be. 81 verse 10, Psalms, open wide your mouth, and now we do what? And I we feel it. So when you pray, you are literally opening your spiritual mouth. Hello. Psalms 81 verse 10, open wide your mouth, and I will feel it. I learned this scripture from the book written by, the, by Young Cho wife. She just died a few weeks ago. <laughs> you know, David Young Cho. Yeah, she just died, yeah, two, few, two weeks, three weeks ago. Now, mercy Lord. Now, she, she, she wrote a book. The title is Open Wide Your Mouth. That was when I knew the scripture. Hello, I am Yahweh your God. Hallelujah. Who brought you up from the land of Egypt? But you have not been asking. I brought you out, but you have closed your mouth. You're no longer talking to me. It's saying, what? Open wide. Open your mouth wide. And I will fill it. And that's what, what we came here to do. That's what we came to command this moon to hear the voice of heaven. Hello, somebody. Month of January, of, of, of April. So, it's so, you know, it was January the other day. Hello, now it's April. I'm saying, oh my God. Hello, somebody. 2021 is on the run already. You better pursue it. Uh, I'm actually talking to somebody. If you don't pursue it, it will, it will outspeed you. Don't wait. So this, this 2001, I'm going to be a better Christian. No, start right now. Right now. Amen. Open wide your mouth and now we feel it. That's me. Let me, me pray. Make a decree. Let there be a clear and call in the spirit. Let there be a spirit of revival. Fasting and prayer. Study of the world. Stop, stop being a lazy Christian. If not so, God can move in our midst. Hello, somebody. If you keep being lazy, lazy, lazy. If, you, if I see a few people in this church, two people that are crazy, you know, who do fasting and prayer, keep praying for the church, who abandon themselves. Safe abandonment. Say, Lord, we want to see your kingdom come on earth. As it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. We keep praying, Lord, we want to see you raise your church, build your church. The more you pray, the more God build your own life and family. God is waiting for a few crazy people who are committed to seeing the destiny of his kingdom amplify in the realms of men. Hello, somebody. Keep on believing. Now, I'm almost done. Do not speak as you see, but as you want it. The month of April, don't speak as you see, but as you want it. Jesus saw water and called it wine. We all know it in the book of, of, of John chapter 2, 7 to 10. He literally saw water. He said, bring water. I'm going to go call some people and start turning it into money these days. <laughs> Because we need to buy our building. 
<laughs> Rema caught me some people that look like money. Okay? <laughs> Keep it for me. Every morning I will bless it. They turn into money in Jesus' name. <laughs> if you keep doing that, God will send the real money. Amen. Remember, you've got an assignment, right? If you don't do it, give it to beyond. He knows how to cut some, some things. So you cut something. You can, Jesus saw literally water. Feed the jars with what? Water. Are you seeing it? Feed the jars with money this month. Feed the jars with water. Jesus told them, so they filled them to the brim. I love the way they acted. They didn't come with a half bottle. The Lord kept going. He said, then he said to them, now nah, draw some out and take it to the chief servant. And they did. Okay? Then the man who shunned. Keep going. Oh Lord. When the chief servant tasted the water after it, it had become wine. A water suddenly become wine because somebody chose to believe. He did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew he called, he called the groom. Sometimes you may know what your master is doing, but just keep quiet. You may not even always believe what the leaders are saying, but just keep quiet and pray for them sometimes. They could be seeing what you're not saying. Hello, somebody. Don't always say things you don't understand. Let me tell you. There are many things that is, is bigger for men to speak about. Are deeper and higher for men to talk about. I'm out right about it. What does man always call me when I'm busy, Lord? Hello, somebody. Please type him and ask him. I'm, I'm not. So you've got to understand that you can still see that it's not working. Water. And, it, and told them, everybody said, I define wine for. Then after, after people have drunk freely, the inferior. The inferior. But you have kept the fine wine until now. I'm reading that and jumping because of my time. And finally, 11, what did he say? Manohoniahanda, paliko, sikratiana, etrogabanda. Jesus performed this first sign in Canaan of Galilee. He displayed the glory and his disciples believed in him. If you don't, don't, know, if you know, if you don't know how to do anything, you're not displaying glory. Hello, somebody. When you do what is not in the natural, you are manifesting your glory. Hello, somebody. And we come here today to manifest glory. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I say this. One of the laws of spirit of life is the law of right speaking. Romans 8, 1 to 2. This is my last. One of the laws of spirit of life is the law of right word speaking or the law of right engagement of ways. Today, don't pray. Hello, somebody. Don't pray. Pray smart. Hello. Do you know somebody can say, Father, I thank you because he's down. You can pray for 20 hours and somebody will just say, in Jesus' name is down. Hello? Just like that. And if you have bandage on your leg, they say, lose, lose it, lose it. That's how Archbishop Jose used to operate. He will come with something on your neck right now. He will say, he will not even pray. He say, just lose it, lose it, lose it, lose it. And as they, they remove the, the bandage on the neck, he say, move your neck, move your neck. The person is healed. <laughs> it's a realm. That's when you become a friend of God. You are always in the spirit. You don't have a particular time of praying. You pray all the time. You don't have a particular time of fasting. You are always in that realm. Amen. It comes a time when you don't count how many times you eat. Because you are in a realm. Hello, somebody. I said, re remember what I said? Do you remember what I quickly said right now? I was talking about, I said, the, the one of the laws of what? Spirit of life is the law of right what? Speaking. Amen. Or the law of right engagement of ways. It can engage too many ways, but the world has not been engaged right, rightly. Hello. It says, therefore, no condemnation now exists for those in Christ Jesus. But somebody could come here and condemn you and condemn you and condemn you, okay? That's wrong speaking. Because the Lord has said, therefore, no condemnation. Amen. For those that I in Christ Jesus. That's what the law said. The law of right speaking. Amen. Then to say, because the spirit, the spirit law of life, the spirit law of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and of death, from all your mess. 
So even if I've met this mess, no, I'm not going to get it because of time. Use KJV in verse 2. Even if I've met all this mess, the spirit in Christ Jesus have already set me free. Are you there? For, for the law of the spirit of life. Hallelujah. I love this. That you know there is a law of the spirit of life. Hello? That's a law that guides life. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me what free from the law of sin and death. And there is a law of sin and there is a law of death. And that's when once you step into that law of death, sin cages you. And death takes you. And that's so as we are here right now, we are in the realm of the law of spirit of life. Because we are proclaiming the spirit of God. We are proclaiming the things of the spirit. So for this law now, have already set me free, even from the woes and pains of this month. So when this month tried to play on me, I said, no. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus Christ, in Christ Jesus had made me free. From everything that is not of God, which this month possesses. Amen. Whatever that is in this month, the law of the spirit of life have already set me free and given me his spirit. Amen. So when I sleep now, I should sleep with, with a little bit of swag. Oh, some, some of you don't understand that. Does anybody know what is swag here? Because, because it's a generational language, new generation. <laughs> I know Audrey understands it. Mitchell does and and Kuzwa, same, and um, ha, hallelujah, and even princess. Um, but Pastor Pio may not even be there because he is from another generation. <laughs> and I'm talking about the Pio. Mama Rose knows it very well. <laughs> no, she says she doesn't know it. She just said all oh, her, so I never say it. <laughs> Because I say, Pastor Pio, Pastor Pio doesn't move his body, so I better say Mama Rose knows it. <laughs> they call it swag, young generation. You put some swag. You know when you put some swag, Mama? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, just move your shoulder a little bit like <laughs> Hello, somebody. And some people will be dying and they say, this guy is walking as though he doesn't have any problem. I don't have problem because the law of the spirit of life have set me free. Hallelujah. Why are you behaving like this? Because I understand the world. I understand my spiritual legal right. Somebody, if you know your legal right, you don't allow policemen to intimidate you because you know your right. So when you live here today, the enemy attack you in the dream. They try to bash you, feed you with some, come on, say, send Jesus' name. I vomit the food I eat through the law of the spirit of life. Yeah. And you speak it, you just believe it. Said you, you it came to pollute, pollute my spirit, but in the name of Jesus, I vomit the food spiritually and I cancel it with the blood, blood of Jesus. I, because you understand that this law has set you free and nobody can put you on bondage, in bondage. So people don't, they don't even know your secret. Why, are you be, why is it you're behaving this way? Why is it that you're talking this way? Why is it that you're always indifferent from people? You're always, you know? No, I, because I understand what the world says. Amen. When you know what the world says, you no longer feel the rejection of people. Hello, somebody, they may reject you, but you don't feel it. They are just rejecting themselves because you know who you are in Christ Jesus. You can reject people who do not know who they are. Hello, somebody. One pastor said, nobody dare talk me down. Am I talking to somebody? That guy had all kind of, you know, national crisis, media problem in the country. After a few months, he said, nobody dare talk me down. Even after all that happened, the church is still, you know, <laughs> is still skyrocketing. You know, had nothing has reduced. And one day he said, I was saying to myself, what is the secret of this guy? In spite of all the crisis, heavy crisis, scandals, and yet the church never reduced. Hello. And one day I heard him preaching, he said, nobody can talk me down. He said, I do not allow anyone to talk me down. Amen. That's the secret. When you're a worshiper, Amen. worship in the presence of God. In, in the presence of men, they can say anything. It's not going to penetrate because you've made peace with God. Shall we stand up? Even as we stand up now and pray, I want him to believe the prayer. I never planned to preach up to 30 minutes, actually. Even if I was going to preach today, it was going to be just 30 minutes. Okay? But as I was preaching here, 
as I was teaching, I just feel in my spirit that we probably need to hear the word. Hello, somebody. We probably need to hear the word so that when we pray, we will pray all right. Because sometimes we just come and pray, and then we just go home, and then we don't have expectation. We fulfill all righteousness, and nothing is working. But when you pray, like what Jim said, then when you pray, you must do what? You must what? Believe. So even if we just laugh now, hey, 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 can the heaven sometimes laugh? Miracle happening. You just believe it. You believe in your laughter. Amen. Smith Wigglesworth, you no know, punch you, boom. Hello, miracle happen. That's the dimension. Oh, let's be, we're going to thank him for his word. Namalahando, Shapalahanda. Ekredemeno, Hondo, Shapahanda. We have about one hour to pray today and close. Samalahando, Yambayambo. Ekhalabriso, Caprihando. Somebody began to thank him, began to bless his name. Oh, Labarabasande, Ribriando. E calibriando osia e craduma e lehendo reba calabasando celebriando cola by ento e lebahando. Somebody began to pray and bless his name. Begin to pray and bless his name. Begin to pray and bless his name. E calibrando o calibriando ze cabriando. E cato ze briando calibriando. E credo librando ze briando. E credo e credo. Somebody just thank him. Thank him. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we give you all the praise. We give you all the thanks. We give you all adoration. E lembanico do bahando. E lembalacondo ke prehando. E calibando e lebrando ke lebahando. E carabando e arabando cobo ende lebrando. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you thanks. Somebody thank your creator. We are glad that we are children of God. Somebody give him praise. Oh yeah, by oh Rabakala Bahando. We have to command this morning, but we just need to thank God already. We need to thank him for the grace to leave. For the grace to see this month. Thank him. Many died in the month of March. But God have made it possible for you. Haraba sakalabazando. E credo malabando zenkeliando. Celebriando koso kalabahando. E crezu ni brande kalabahando. E crozo biliando. Lord, I give a praise. Lord, I give a praise. Somebody give him praise. Nigabando. Elebando, e canda, e calabando, e calabrando, zelebra alahando, o capasacata. Wherever you're praying online, if you're praying online with us, begin to thank God for the ability to see the month of a prayer. Lord, we thank you for the ability to see the month of a prayer. E rabba zende lebahando, we do not take it lightly. We do not take it lightly, oh Lord. I bless your name for the ability to see the Month of April. I bless your name for the ability to see the month of April. My Halimando, a Keto, Lebar Hando, a Rabba Zendo, Kulabando, a Creto, a Creto. Lord will bless your name. Somebody appreciate your Papa in heaven. Appreciate your dad in heaven. Oh Lord, my God, we appreciate you in this month of a prayer, this first day of a prayer. We are glad, we are happy. E koto, e keto, e keto. Lord, I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy my kids are alive, my wife alive. Oh God, our spiritual sons and daughters in the house alive. Everyone in this house alive. Lord, we are glad, oh God, that oh God, all believers around the world, oh Gamindo Kopai, that you continue to protect them. I'm glad that everybody in Abuja branch alive. Lord, we did not register lost of life. Lord, there was not, oh God, any incoincident or major coincidence, Lord. Lord, I bless your name that even when the devil planned to take our life, oh God, he refused to grant them the answers. Somebody began to bless his name, oh God. Oh, Laba. Oh, Laba Sanda Kaba. Oh, Rabba Laba Sanda. Lord, you refuse to give the enemy the answers to ride the nozzle. Lord, I bless your name. Lord, I worship you. I am grateful, oh God. I know you will do more in the month of April. I appreciate you for the food you put on our table. I appreciate you for allowing us, oh God, seeing this day. We went to bed and we woke up with our bodies in Ted, with our life in 
said, Lord, we thank you for everything that you are doing and everything that you will do. We give you the praise. Thank you for the things we were able to achieve in the month of March, oh God. We give you all the praise. Lord, we give you all the praise. We give you all adoration in the name of Jesus, Spirit of the Living God. Lord, we praise you, Lord. Lord, we honor you, Lord. Lord, we worship you. We worship you in the morning. We worship you in the night. We worship you in the afternoon. Zondo, e raba baba zeka laba, e kroto, e kreto, e kreto, receive all the praise. Receive all the things, receive all adoration. Receive all adoration, Lord. Receive all the glory, Lord. Receive all the praise, Lord. Yes, Lord, we worship you. Yes, Lord, I bless your name. Yes, Lord, I say you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. There is no one like unto the God of Jeshron. You never fell. You never slumber. Yes, you have always been faithful on my behalf. You have shown me great and mighty things I've never known. You have shown me great and mighty things I've never taken tasted before. I bless your name for how you carried us this month, Lord. I bless your name for how you fed us, for how you protected us from our sin, for how you protected us from our sleep, oh God. Oh, somebody decree. Thank him for keeping you. You went to bed and you wake up. You wake up with your life in Ted, with your hand in Ted. He went to work and you came back with everything in Ted. Lord, we bless your name. We bless your name, Lord, because you've been so good. You've been so marvelous. You've been so awesome. There is none like unto the God of Jeshurun. All about you. All about you. Oh, by Sanda, la Sanda. Oh, la Bayando. Somebody pray and decree. Lord, you've been awesome, Lord. Lord, you've been wonderful. Lord, you've been glorious. There is no one like unto you. Hey, Gambelio, Bahando. Oh, Galabando, Celebariocco, a candle Romariando, a racalabahando, a candle basando, a rabalahando, a crendo, a crendo, Galabazando, Calabasanda, that at word, I'm hearing that song in my spirit, that at word to receive glory and honor and praise, begin to tell the Lord, that at word to receive glory, honor and praise. For that I created, all things are created. I bless your name, for you are worthy to receive. You are worthy to receive all glory, all praise, all adoration. Oh Lord, my God, you are worthy. Somebody declare and decree. Oh Rabbi Sande, my hand. Somebody declare he is worthy. He is worthy, worthy to receive our praise, worthy to receive our glory, worthy to receive all things. For that are created, all things are created by you. I am a semi nomina bendo, bala catalabazando. Lord, you are worthy, eketo, eketo. You are worthy, yamanando, kambaya, to receive our glory, and beni kambaya. To receive all praise, Kambeli Kambaya, to receive all adoration. 
Elebayando, Elebayando. There is no one that is worthy like unto the God of Jeshurun. He can do me a beer. He can do my Kayabindo. He can be in Kata. He is such a good God, a good God. He Katabaya, He Katabaya, He Katabaya, Manakato, He Kreto, He Kreto, He Rambari Koto, He Dana Katana Badando. Somebody speak in tongues for the next 15 minutes. Let's speak in tongues. Mangambiri Yando, Nambra Nianto. Elebada, Eleba Sakata, Eleba Kanda, Eleba Sakata Labando, Eleba Sande Lebasando, Eleba Saka Labazendu, Eleba Zandu Lekabazando, Eleba Saka Labazando, Ekataba, 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 Irambadabando, Irambadaba, Irambadaba, Ikoto, Ikado. Yes, Lord, Exalabazoli, Elabazondia, Elabazuni Yamba, Elabazuna Kanda, Elabazokoto, Elabrazondu, Ekrando, Ekrando, Elabazondu Liama, Exanabu, Ekanabu, Elabazondu, Exandaya, Exandayaba, Eraba Zakata, Ebrana Zondu, Elabrazondu, Ekrando, Ebranusa, Egadaduzi, Endromadinde, Enkotuna Hand, Elabazando, somebody. Speak in tongues if you can. Ora bare, ora bare biando soko, ora bare biando kodo, ora basi kala bahando, e kala basanto, e galando koloba, e gando suka, e gando suka laba, e gando ruba sando, e rabazondo, e rabazondo, e rabazondo. When we speak in tongues, the devil is confused. E raksenda, e rabazando, e ramazonia, e rangudu zando, e gabazoko dia, e gadundo kile. Da bazunduria, e la basando, e carazando, e carazando, e carazando, e carazando, e carazando, e raba babazando, e raba sacalaba, e raba sacalaba, e la basacalaba, e la basacalaba, e raba sacalaba. Yes, Lord. Somebody decree and declare. E rabasanda, e rabasanda, e labazando kamba, e katakata, e katakata, e katabando, e rabazando, e karaba, e karaba, e karaba, e karaba. Somebody decree. E labando kambaria, e labadu, e labadu, e labadu kambaria, 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 e rakadaka, e rakadaka, e rakadaka, e rakadaka, e rakadaka, e rakadaka, e rakadaka. As a speaking tongue began to remove every obstacle. As a speaking tongue began to remove every obstacle. Irabazandu ka, irabazandu kalabazandu, irabazandu kalabazandu. Yes, Lord. Irabakulabazandu, irabakenda labando, irabazandu kalabazandu, irabazaka labazandu, irakabazandu, irabazandu, irabazandu kalabazandu, irabazandu ekredo, 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 elambanu kane, elambanu kendo, irakabalu, irakata kata, irabazunia, iramazuntu, irakata ma into, irama. Zenturia, Irama Entru, Imakuna in a hand, Ixanto, Ikranto, 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 Ixanto, Maka Labazando. Eleka, Elexando, Elecando, Malabandu Kaba, Eramarazandu, E Pradaka, 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 E Labazando, Zando, 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 Kandu Kando, E Rabasando, E Ramakata Kata, E Ramakata Kata, E Ramakata Kata, E Rakambara, E Rakambala, E Rakambala, E Ramarasanto, E Rakataka, E Ramakuru, E Ramakuru, Ramakando, irabakando, eketu, ekanduraba, 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 kenda mahanda, kenda mahanda, embrana kando, embrana, embrana, embrana. Somebody speak in tongues if you can. Rakabakando, rakabakando, ramalahando, kerebahanda. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. As I speak in tongue, let it, let my bando, let the stumbling block be removed. Irakanda baka, let the sin be cleansed. Iramazaraka, irakata kata, irakabakata, iramakata kata. Anything that has been troubling your life, iramakanta, irabakala basanta, irabasaka laba, irabazanda, irabazando, irabakendo kamba, irokoto, irabazundo, iramahando. 
Eketo, 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 somebody decree. And declare in the name of Jesus, in my kind of speaking tongues, anything that is a hindrance, anything that has stand as a sin, begin to confess your sin through tongues if you can. Ibakaduku, 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 Eramaramasando, Eramaramasando, Eramasando, plead the blood of Jesus in tongues, Eramarabasando, Eramaramasando, 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 Eracamba, 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 Rima. Katunaka, Rima Katunaka, Rima Katunaka, Rima Katunaka, Rima Katunaka, Ira Katakata, Irama Santo, Irama Santo, Ikoto, Ikoto Maria, Bangandu Kinde, Ilambadukudu, Ilambadukudu, Irakamahandu, Elekendu, 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 Elekendu. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Eremabandu. Eremakandu. Eremalbandu. Kalabahandu. Eremalahandu. Kalabahandu. E Kalabahandu. E Gandu. Numakandu. Kalaba. E Koto. E Barabandu. Kambia. E Bayindo. E Bayendo. E Bayendo. E Bayendo. E Bayendo. E Bayendo. E Kata. E Kata. E Kata. E Kata. Let the blood of Jesus begin to plead the blood of Jesus over your lamb. The blood of Jesus. Over your soul, the blood of Jesus over your month. Somebody pray. The blood, let the blood begin to sink for you. The blood of Jesus speaking for your month. The blood of Jesus speaking for your life. The blood of Jesus speaking for your day. Let the blood speak, Lord. We invoke the blood. We invoke the blood. We invoke the blood. We invoke the blood of the Son of God. We invoke the blood in your system. We invoke the blood in your body. We invoke the blood in your thought. We invoke the blood in every part of your life. We invoke the blood over your children, over your career, over your soul, over your marriage. The blood is dropping on you right now. Some of you will see the revelation of the blood now. Himba, 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 himba. Lord, reveal it in your blood. Lord, reveal your blood. Lord, reveal your blood. Angel of God, reveal the blood of the Son of God to your people. Reveal your blood to us today. Let your blood drip. Let it be released. Let it drop on our head. Let it wash us. Wash our soul. Wash our tongue. Wash our past. Wash our mistakes in the month of March. Let the blood wash every mistake we made in the month of March. Somebody a prayer, a prayer. Let the blood of Jesus let the blood of Jesus wash every mistake I made in the month of March. Let the blood of Jesus wash every error I've made it in my life. Let the blood of Jesus wash every accusing tongue. Whatever that is a threatening accusing tongue accusing fingers against me let the blood of Jesus wash it today the first day of April the blood of Jesus is thicker than the blood of Abel right now let the blood Speak on my behalf. Speak on my month. Speak on my day. Let the blood from Jesus wash everything that does not glorify God in my spirit mind. Let the blood cleanse it now. Wash it now. Purge it now. Somebody pray that prayer. Everything that is standing against you. Accusing you. Accusing your soul. Accusing your family. Accusing your marriage. Accusing you from the past. Let the blood wash it. Somebody pray that prayer. The blood is speaking. The blood is speaking. Araba kalaba sadabe. The blood is speaking. Etata kata. The blood is speaking. Let the blood continue to wash everything. Dama kata kata labazando. Etata etata. Every sin, every wickedness, every confusion in your life, every accusation. 
let the blood wash every accusation blow it away let the blood of Jesus blow away every accusation every accusation every accusation against our life against our church against our people let the blood wash that accusation delete it from our life erase it from our soul erase it from our foundation everything that makes you not believe the word of God everything that makes you not believe the word of God everything that makes you not believe all oh, the, the promises of God every past sin every current sin that is standing against you and the glory of God against you and the promises of God in the name of Jesus we pray for erasing blood we pray for erasing blood let the blood erase that accusation in your spirit let the blood erase that voice you hear in your mind let the blood erase that negative thinking pattern that thought pattern that does not bring glory to God the blood of Jesus is erasing them all ayamba 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 ekechoma katukata let the blood erase every sin erase every accusation Oh Lord, everything that is accusing your life, let the blood of Jesus erase it now. Every sin that is accusing your soul, accusing your life, accusing your being, let the blood erase it now. Every lies in the air, every lies in the land, every lies in the sea. Somebody pray that prayer. Every lies in the air, every lies in the sea every lies in the atmosphere the enemy is casting on you we break that lies we break that lies lies of the enemy lies as a result of what people say as a result of what you hear as a result of what you feel and your spirit we break the lies of hell I can be no kabahando we break the lies of hell every wicked lie the enemy has ever casted on you casted on your potential casted on your calling make you feel small in the name of Jesus I said that lies on fire through the backing of the blood through the backing of the fire of God every lies every voice of the power that hold you, take you, bind your boldness, break now, break now. I break every lies. I break every lies. Somebody pray that prayer. Every lie suffer your life. Every lies, lie word, lie conception, lying tongues. We cut you down, we cut you off from Bakataka, from our spirit. Everything that is accusing us, accusing our glory, accusing where we are going, fighting who we are in the spirit. The law did not say so. For the Bible says, For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin and death. Therefore, every lie of hell that is fighting the people of God, I came to let you know there is no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus because we are in Christ Jesus. The lies are on fire. The lies are on fire. Every lie that is not respecting or a character. I present Romans chapter 1, verse 1 to 2. Rama Kataka. We present Romans chapter 1, 1 to 2. That is our defense in the court of heaven. A Kataka. Lord, in the court of the spirit, against the forces of hell, against lying tongue, lying spirit, against accusing finger. We present Romans chapter 1, 1 to 2. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walks not after the flesh but after the spirit. Oh Lord my God, we decree and we declare that Romans 1, 1 to 2 is against the forces of hell. It's against the tongues of the past. It's against the fear of the past. Somebody's been set free right now.
spirit. Somebody's been fed free right now. I enforce Romans 1, Romans chapter 8, 1 to 2. Everything in your life, every accusation, every lie, every low self esteem is being flushed away. It's been flushed out right now. Mango me a hand. Ikalabazendo. Ikalabazendo ru kambane. Igandu kambeni kambane. Igandu kambani kambana. Began to cut cut off every yoke, every hold over your life, holding you, trying to enter the month of April with you. Every hold breaks now. Every wicked hold, every wicked desire, every wicked feeling, every trouble, every pain, every confusion that want to enter the month of a prayer with us. We bind your power. We bind your power. We crush your might in the name of Jesus. Every wicked voice. Oh, we can dream every torment that wants to enter the month of a prayer. Every strength thought, strength feeling, anima o ni cambria co, strength struggling, e gandu, e rama e co, lega damaya, e robo seke. Somebody pray everything that is pursuing your life. Yes, pray everything that is pursuing your destiny, everything that is pursuing your calling. Everything pursuing your calling, pursuing your glory, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Everything pursuing your glory, pursuing your person, wanting to do- dominate you again in the month of a prayer. We cut that cord, we cut that cord, we cut that cord, we cut that. Cord, cord of failure, cord of evil thought, cord of evil desire, cord of demonic struggle that the enemy have tied in our neck, tied on our soul, tied on our spirit. We call that cord in the spirit realm. Yamma 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 Somebody decree and declare wherever you are, whether online, I break that code over your life, code of destruction, code of failure, code of error, code of mistake, holding your life, code of lack, lack of money, lack of substance, every poverty, every like a wicked desire that wants to follow you in the month of April, we break your hold, Amico. We break your hold. Ayama, ayama, ayama. We break your hold in the spirit. Every wicked thing that wants to fight me or fight in me, that wants to dominate me in the month of April, he called me Kadaba. We began to seize the month of April. Somebody begin to seize the month of April. Begin to seize the month of April. Oh, yeah, kaya, kaya, kaya. We seize the month of April. <laughs> We see the month of April. I'm going to seize, seize this month. Lord, we seize this month. We think of this month. Somebody seize this month. We seize this month. We take over this month. We take dominion of this month. This month we not rule me. I will rule this month by the Spirit of God. This month we not rule KMGC. We shall rule this month by the Spirit spirit of God. This month will not control and dictate for us. We shall dictate for the month of April by the spirit of God. Somebody decree and declare. <coughs> decree 
and declare, decree and declare, this month shall not rule you. This month shall not control you. This month shall not steal your jaw. This month will not create problem for you. It will not invent problem for you. Every, every demon that invents issues, every demon that invents problem in our life, in our marriage, in our soul, we bind you and we cast you to hell. He combina handle. Whether you come in the middle in the middle of the night, whether you are walking operating the dream, operating the noon in the night, we don't want to know. We cast you to hell. Every wicked spirit, every wicked power, every wicked force that is fighting me, fighting the KMGC commission, fighting the members, wanting to bring us down, wanting to reduce the glory, wanting to reduce the force of the spirit. We bring you down. We scatter their plan. Every nest in the spirit, or the nest of the enemy, the enemy is nesting on our behalf. We decree and we demand catch fire, 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, all the nest of the enemy, nest of hell, nest of death, nest of limitation, nest of luck. Somebody say, Holy Ghost, fire. Just, I decree, I call, I decree, Holy Ghost, they call fire. Call it with all your might. As you're calling fire, demonic blockages are breaking down. Demonic walls are breaking down. Demonic resistance are breaking down. Demonic attitude are breaking down. Demonic characters are breaking down. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Let's intensify the fire. Maka bakataka. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Against every unclean spirit. Fire. Against every wickedness. Fire. Against every lack. Fire. Against every limitation. Against any death. Against any conspiracy. Against any limitation. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Against any demon. In our system. Holy Ghost. Let the fire of God. Burn every child. Somebody pray that prayer. Anything that is not of God. In the month of a prayer. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Alababanda. Wherever you're praying from, anything in your system that is not of God, any blockage in your womb, you are there expecting. You are expecting mother. You want to conceive a child. The Lord is opening your womb now. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire! Every man, every woman that is sick right now, who is watching us, wherever you are, we command that sickness to be consumed. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Somebody began to pray fire. Mangabaha. 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 Somebody open your mouth and pray. Intensify the atmosphere. Something need to break today. That will not follow you to the next level. That will not follow you to the next level. Oh, the month of April is going to be better than the month of March. Somebody pray that prayer. Helema Mahando. Pray that prayer. Somebody pray a prayer. Don't reduce the tempo. 
Don't reduce the atmosphere. The forces of darkness are fighting us. The forces of darkness that are fighting us, they are in, in, in round right now. They are in the round. I'm telling you, the Lord will even open your eyes and see you. Show some of you what is happening in the spirit right now. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now we're going to pray for the church. You're praying for yourself. Hallelujah. God is good. Last Sunday we were handling the deliverance of the church. And the demon looked at me and somebody and said, You are end time ministers. I hate you. You are end time ministers. I want you to know the enemy is against end time ministers. They know you in the spirit. They know the church. Are we able to pray? Begin to pray for KMGC. I want us to release our heart. We want to see a revival we've never seen before. We want to see a miracle we've never seen before. We want to see signs and wonder. The only thing that will bring this nation to the church is to see divine move of God. It's the only thing I believe that will bring New Zealand to her knees is to witness the supernatural. Are you able to pray right now? Before I begin to thank God for last month of March for giving us a successful meetings, successful services, successful prayer night, prayer days. Are we able to begin to thank God for what he did in the last month? Very important we do that for KMGC. It's the kingdom of God. As you pray for the kingdom of God, so you are praying for yourself. <laughs> begin to thank God for the things he's doing. And for the things he will do, thank God, somebody, for the things he's doing in KMGC and for the things that he will do in the name of Jesus. Thank him like never before. Let the let Holy Spirit know that we appreciate him for everything he did in the month of March. For those he brought into the kingdom, for those who were able to attend the church, for those who were able to make it here, just thank him that we appreciate, appreciate Holy Spirit. <laughs> Begin to appreciate Holy Spirit. For those, for all that he did, people he brought to church, begin to thank the Holy Ghost for all that he did. Begin to thank the Holy Ghost for all that he did. Somebody thank the Holy Ghost for as many that he healed, as many he brought to church, as many he delivered. People who break their chains, break their yoke. We thank him for all that he did in the month of March. We don't take it lightly. We are appreciative of his mercies, appreciative of his glory, appreciative of all that he is doing among us. Lord, I appreciate you. Who are we to stand in your most holy place? Who are we to minister from your presence? Who are we to call on the name of the Lord? Only you could have made it happen. Who are we, oh God, for your people to gather, to worship together? Father, we don't consider ourselves anything. It is your mercy. It is your power. It is your grace. It is your word. Lord, we thank you for all that you're doing or you did in the month of March. Oh Lord, we are not worthy to walk with you. We are not worthy, oh Lord, to stand before your presence. We are not worthy to even mention your name, oh Lord. But Lord, you brought your people here. You brought them to be part of your glory. You brought them to be part of what you're doing. And we thank you for the people you heal. We thank you for the people that you deliver. People that you freed from bondage. People you, you, you supply to. People you elevated. People you, you, you saved. For men and women that discover who they are. Lord, 
we thank you on their behalf, oh God. Oh Lord, we bless your name. We know you are faithful, God. Ever faithful, ever glorious, ever of my hand, ever merciful. That is who you are. You've continued to wrote your miracle. You continue to show your glory. You continue to make yourself known in this nation. My God, I bless your name. Oh my Katamaland. You continue to approve your church, KMGC. In the realm of the spirit of God. You continue to make KMGs known in the spirit realm. My God, I bless your name. And Balabasanda, now I begin to pray for KMGC in the month of April. Begin to thank God what you want to see happen. Begin to thank God what you want to see happen in the month of April. In this commission, in this local church, begin to thank God what you want to see happen. Somebody decree and declare, Lord, I'm a man in Ambo, Mangabi, Nikabandu, Ekandu, Ligrada, Benio, Lord, we my Indu, Kambalahandu, begin to tell your Jehovah. Your Papa in heaven, what you want to see happen. Lord, we want to see a mighty move that never held them, that we've never seen before. Lord, we want to see men and women that walk into this place, oh God, and can tell the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit of the living God. We want to see men and women that have never known you walk into this house and receive an encounter, receive healing, remember get saved, get cleansed, receive hope, oh God. Oh God, from this local house, we are belittling you for an encounter we've never witnessed before. Oh God, make this mountain the mountain of healing. Make this mountain the mountain of purification. Make this mountain the mountain of revival. Oh Lord, my God, Holy Spirit of the living God, come and rule over this house. Do not let me rule over it. Do not let any of us rule over it. We ask you, Holy Ghost, in the month of March, we declare the month of the Holy Ghost. We declare the month of man, the month of prayer, man, the month of Holy Ghost. Aya Baba, the month of April, the month of the Holy Ghost. Yamba Kanda, Lord, we declare, say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord our God, we declare the month of April, the month of Holy Ghost over KMGC, over our members. Over your children around the world, let Holy Spirit rule our talk, rule our walk, rule our preaching, rule our prayers. Holy Spirit, we ask you to rule over us, rule over this local congregation, bring people, heal people, empower people, bless men and women, anyone that we walked into this house will experience the power of God, the glory of God, the anointing of God, the oil of God that we've never seen before. Oh Lord our God, we decree and we declare that this month is a month of the move of the Spirit. A month of resurrection, a month of Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, do something new, do something new. Let there be creative anointing, creative healing, creative release, creative finances, everything that has to do with us. Holy Ghost, move in power, move in power, move in power. Somebody pray that prayer, Magalabarosha. Pray that prayer, the Lord is hearing us. As I hear them say, so shall I do unto them. As I hear them say, so shall I do unto them. It is the month of the Holy Ghost. It is the month of the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost comes into the house, you know what he will do. Even from tonight, you will experience the power. It is the month of the Holy Ghost. Somebody wanted to be determined as they pray this prayer. We declare the month of April. 
the month of the Holy Ghost. I am by my yando, 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 yando. We declare the month of a prayer. The month of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost walks in me. Holy Ghost move in the house. Holy Ghost preach the word. Holy Ghost dance the dance in this house. Holy Ghost praise the praise. Through your people, Lord. Lord, we declare this month will never be an ordinary month. I am a mama o shamba. Spirit of the living God. Help us to know you better. Help us to come closer. Help us to come closer this month, Spirit of God, this month I decree and I declare, help us to come closer. Oh, Spirit of the Holy God, Spirit of the Holy God, take over this church, take over all the seat, Lord. Every seat will be seated on. Oh God, in the month of April, as we gather, every seat will be seated on. Somebody that prayed that prayer, that this month as we gather, no seat will be empty. The Lord will bring people from our walks of life. The Lord will bring people from afar, from the east, from the south, from the west from the north to sit in this house to receive the word of life. Somebody decree that decree to God of heaven. We bring people from afar to be part of the move of God in this house. Somebody pray that prayer. Malabo Ocean. Yes, Lord, you bring people from afar. We see men coming. We see women coming. We see students. We see friends. We see well wishers. We see young people. We see millionaires, oh God. We see billionaires coming into this house. We see the poor, the rich, the sophisticated, the unsophisticated, the drug addict, the sun minded. We see them coming. Somebody call them in as I hear them say so shall I do unto them oh God this house will be known as a rich house as a house of abundance a house of wealth somebody pray that prayer this house shall be known as a house of prosperity a house of richness a house of abundance a house of riches it shall be known. It shall come to pass that KMJC shall be known as a house of riches, a house of abundance, a house of wealth. Amalemi yombo ni mabahando. E gambi niu kumbina halabado shanda ya. Somebody pray that prayer. Call them in. Call them in. We call them in. We call them in. We design how they think in this nation. We design how they think. We speak how they think. Oh God, we command how they think. They are thinking in the ways of the Lord. They are thinking in the ways of the Lord. Anywhere they are, all road lead to KMGC. All road lead to other churches. Let the house of God begin to receive numbers of souls in a record number like never before in the month of, of March cause Sosta began to witness oh God so winning Oh Lord, in a record number in the month of April, Amen. Cause us, Oh Lord, begin to oh, ma, 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 za, ma, ma, begin to record numbers of soul winning, numbers of visitors, numbers of people that are coming to join KMGC and join every other churches in Monaco, in Auckland, in New Zealand, in Australia, Asia, Europe, in America, in Africa. There will be a record number of souls that me compare that the Holy Ghost is going to be turning into the house of God to know the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Somebody call them in. We see them come in. Amamamazando. We see them come in. Somebody call them in. All of us and we see the young people, we see the old, Shamahando, we see them coming, El Alabarando Robashando, Ebabazia Kotoko, anywhere they are, they are coming. We soften their heart, we soften their soul, we soften their mind. Let them begin to come into this house to KMGC, where they will know the glory of God, the word of God. 
the healing power of God, the truth of the gospel. Lord, we call men in, we call women in, we call young people. We call young people in. Holy Ghost. Mikoto, Mikoto. Reach out to your heart. Holy Ghost, reach out to your heart. It's going to be the house of riches. Holy Ghost, reach out to your heart. Wherever they are, wherever they are, we command them to come in. The month of March, month of riches of soul, month of abundance of soul. Month of the Holy Ghost. We declare it officially the month of the Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost of the living God begin to rip them in. Let the angels of God, somebody delegate the angel, delegate the angel to go and rip them in. Angels are the rippers. We are the angel of God to go and rip them in. Wherever they are, we are the angel of God. Go and bring more souls. We see more souls. We see people delivered from bondage. Delivered from evil spirit. Delivered from sickness. In the month of April. My God. We see move of the spirit like never before. Because it is the month of the spirit of God. Holy Ghost of the living God. We are asking you. Amima Chando. That every Sunday. Every day. As we gather your people. People, we witness the angels all over the building. Every day as we gather, your people will have an encounter, revelation of the Son of God in this house. Imakoto, Imakoto, Imakoto. Somebody began to pray. There's going to be encounter in this house. There's going to be many encounter from now on. Holy Ghost is saying there's going to be many encounter like never before. Somebody pray for an encounter. And this church has to be walking. Everything in their life will disappear. Addition will disappear. Bad attitude will be flushed out. Negative characters, impurities. Oh God, every kind of addition, the Lord will break it. Imokoto. Lord, from that step, as they walk into this house, the angel of God will begin to strap them of anything that is not good. Oh Lord, as they walk in into this temple, any garbage, any junk in our lives oh god every time we walk in here we will be strapped away strapped off of anything that is not of god that we be encounter open encounter somebody pray holy ghost is going to encounter people like never before there's gonna be encounter open encounter in this house that's what god will do even now some of you will encounter god tonight like never before because the spirit of encounter is here it's under my hand. Yes, the angels of encounter are here. If you're watching online, the angel of encounter is reaching out to you wherever you're watching from right now. You will feel the encounter. Ibakoto, 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 Ibakoto. You will feel the encounter. Damino, Indamina, Kambana, Ikroto, Ikroto. The encounter that is flowing from this earth. Anywhere this month, whether they watch us online, anytime they hear the word from this altar, they will encounter God. Something will happen in their life. It will not be the word of men. It will not be the, the, the word of human being. Mighty God, your word we carry a wind of the spirit. Your word we carry a deliverance power. Your word we carry a grace that we've never seen before. From this house, your word will travel to the nations. Inama, 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 says the Lord. From this house, your word will travel to presidential palace. Elabasanda. From this house, your word will travel to the house of the kings. From your word will travel to the government, the house of government officials. From this house. Your word will travel to the hearts of old and small, to the hearts of young and old, wherever they are. They shall hear the word of life. That is what the Lord will be doing in this season, says the Lord. 
Shemaka. In this season, there seems to be a move of God we've never seen before. It will be a move by ease, says the Lord. A move by ease, a move by encounter. Encounter at night, encounter in the dream, encounter as they walk. They will receive a Mamakando. God will literally give them the address of the church to come and hear the word that will save their lives, says the Lord. Father, that is what you have assigned your angel to do in the month of April. We makona Allah hand. We bless your name for an encounter that we've never seen before. An encounter we've never witnessed before. Oh Lord our God, we bless your name. Something is button in the spirit right now. here. He babazundo, he babazundo here. He babazundo, he babazundo here. He babazundo receive yours. He babazundo here. He landa makudu kabazando. The Holy Ghost is burning something in the spirit. Wherever you are watching, receive yours right now. He babazundo, he babazundo, he babazundo. He rakabazundo. God is burning something. The Spirit of God is burning something. Burning good head. Burning deliverance. Burning power. Burning finances. But an empowerment wherever you are, receive yours now. <laughs> receive yours now. Irababa Sadaba, Irababa Sadaba, Irababa Sadaba, Irababa Sadaba, Irababa Sadaba, Irababa Sadaba, Himba, 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 Himba. The month of April, hear the word of God. You shall be a month of glory. It shall be a month that the Holy Ghost will bought whatever, whatever, whatever treasure in us. The Holy Ghost will bought it. the month of April. You will not do otherwise. The month of April, you will not intimidate us. The month of April, you will bought miracle. You will bought favor. You will bought peace. You will bought glory. You will bought connections. You will bought finances. You will bought faith. You will bought salvation. That's going to be bought in. Receive yours. The button of the spirit. Yes, it's already happening right now. It's already happening right now. It's already happening right now. Be sensitive in the spirit. Don't rely. Don't lower your antenna. Yes, it's already happening. There's going to be oppression right now. If you're sick right now, there's going to be oppression in your body. Right now, right now. If you are online watching and if you're sick, there's going to be oppression on your body right now. Wherever you're watching from, those of you here, can you stand up? There's going to be an oppression right on your body right now. Hamamasondo, the angels of God are here. There's going to be oppression right now. Manamohondo, the flame of God is here. Stand up wherever you are if you can. The flame of God is here. I am mama. Stand up if you can. The flame, the presence is already here. You can't stand it wherever you are. Now begin to take yours. The flame will be running toward you. Position yourself. Very yes. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. The flood is running. The flame is gonna be running toward you, toward you, toward you, toward you, toward you. Whatever position yourself, anywhere you are, it's running, it's running. The flame is running toward you. If you're online, the flame is running. Yes, 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 yes. Something is buttoning. The spirit take yours take yours take yours take yours take yours it's coming it's flushing us something it's flushing us something it's flushing us something take yours now take yours yeah you're not going back with the disease you're not going back with the sickness you're not going back with the confusion you're not going back with the blockage in your life you're not going back with the unanswered prayers <coughs> something is happening now Yes, Lord, you're not turning back the same way you came. The Lord is burning something. Receive, receive, receive your snap. Yes, 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 yes. Wherever you are, something is burning wherever you are. Wherever you are, the Lord is visiting you. The angels are moving around. They are removing the yokes, removing the pain, removing the confusion. Wherever you are, let the fire run toward you. Mama Mahanda, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Fire, Holy Fire, run toward them. Holy Fire, Maka Makada. Remove my caliber. Holy fire, run toward you. Now receive yours. 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 Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Receive yours now. Receive yours now. The Holy Ghost is here. The Holy Spirit is here. Everybody say in the name of the Father and of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost, I receive fire. Wherever you are, there is an oppression taking place. If you come tonight, 
with sickness, you're not going back with the sickness. If you came tonight with confusion, you're not going back with the confusion. If you came tonight with pain, if you come tonight with luck, you are in need. The Lord is supplying to you. Because that is the earth has ripe, the atmosphere has ripe for miracle. The atmosphere is ripe for miracle. To so whatever be your burden, I want you to receive now wherever you are. The atmosphere is brought to a miracle. The angels are distributing all that is needed in the month of April with speed of light. The angels are distributing now whether you are online or in this auditorium. Receive yours in the name of Jesus. Receive us in the name of Jesus wherever you are. Some of you, if you want to come out here, quickly come out. Quickly come out, quickly come out. Here are Mama Hundo Kabaya. Quickly come out and drop from the altar. Mama Kurke Bahanda. Yes, Lord. Everything that is needed in the month of August, in the month of our prayer, begin to receive yours now. Some of you come out, Irakanda, Irakanda, Iramama Sakurba, begin to receive from the altar, begin to pull from the altar, begin to draw from the altar. You're going back with miracle, you're going back with favor, you're going back with honor. You're coming back with grace, begin to pull, begin to pull. Begin to pull from the altar. Begin to pull from the altar. Begin to pull from the altar. Begin to pull. Lord, let something begin to happen. Let something begin to happen. Let something begin to happen. Let grace, 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 grace for the month of April. Grace, grace is crying out for the month of April. Yes, Lord. Grace for the month of April. Yes, Lord. Lord, purify her. Purify her. Purify her. Grace for the month of April. Ah, grace for the month of April. Grace for the month of April. Grace. Everything in your body flush out now. Flush out. Grace for the month of April. 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 Everything that needs to be flushed out in your body begin to flush out because there is an oppression. Oppression going on. An oppression going on. Flush out everything. I need to be flushed out. Flush out now. Flush out now. No hiding place. Let the glory consume the wickedness operating here. Somebody receive. Somebody receive. Somebody receive. Somebody receive. Even now the Lord is going to be opening your eyes to show you what you've never seen before. The laws of the spirit of life is setting you free from the laws of sin and death. From the laws of lack. From the laws of fear. From the laws of fear of the future. Something is born. The Holy Ghost has bought something. Holy Ghost has bought something in your spirit. Is happening now. Receive yours. Anywhere you are. Anywhere you are. Anywhere you are. Anywhere you are. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Anywhere you are. There's an oppression going on. Anywhere you are. Even if you are online right now, receive your grace for the month of a prayer. If you're watching from online, receive grace from the month of a prayer. There is a button grace here. Receive grace from the month of a prayer. Receive grace for the month of a prayer. Yes, Lord, receive grace anywhere you are. The Lord is button something. Anywhere you are, the Lord is button something. Receive finances. Receive a call of miracle. Receive a call of favor. Anywhere you are, cause of favor. Cause that will favor you. A telephone call that will change your life. Receive now. Whether you are here or watching online, may God give you a tongue, a soul winning tongue. In the month of April, begin to do wonders. The anointing to do wonders. The spirit to do wonders. The oil to do wonders rest on you. Hey, somebody help. Yes, Lord, somebody help. Somebody help. The oil to do wonders. 
Ola Baba Hando. Ola Baba Sako Shikaba. The oil to do wonders. Anywhere you are now, the oil to do wonders. Receive the oil. Receive the fire. Rise above your mess. Oil to do wonders. In the generation God will use you guys. All you to do wonders. I command the pen to leave now. I command you before you wake up here. The pen, the part of that reaction of your body will be finished now. Now let there be an oppression. Let there be an oppression. Let there be an oppression. Holy Ghost, thank you. Holy Ghost, thank you. Begin to pray her now. Let there be a visible sign of an oppression that you're doing in her life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Let the current of healing enter your body. Now, total freedom. Anywhere you are, receive something. There is a button in the presence. That's a grace in here. Money is coming now. Something is coming to you wherever you are. Receive money. Receive soul winning. Receive grace. Receive power. Receive breakthrough in every area of your life. Let something happen in your life. Since I know what I'm feeling in the atmosphere. Don't let it dry up. I know what I'm feeling in the atmosphere. I, I feel it's when it's like the atmosphere is so congealed and the spirit is like it's so soft and in the spirit for something new to happen. That's what the Lord is doing. Lord, whatever you push something now. You need peace. You need oil for peace. You need oil for breakthrough. You need oil for ministry. You need oil for salvation. You need oil for your academic endeavors. Whatever oil that you need for your children, whatever areas you need peace, put something. The atmosphere is already pregnant. Receive yours. Receive, 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 receive. Wherever you are. Oh, Talabondo Shandelia. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for those you're healing online. If you're watching this and right now, check your body. Wherever you are online, check your body. Alamon Shihando. The angel of God has been assigned to you now. The angel of KMGC. The angel of mercy is removing the sickness, removing the pain. If you feel that you're healed, send us right now. Send message under the comment or send message under, under the, uh, in, in the messenger. Let us know. Facebook messenger. Tell us what God has done in your body. Some of you, some of you will experience a breakthrough this month. A breakthrough you've never had before. Oh Lord, the church of Jesus Christ will experience shift in the month of Easter. And this church will be part of, of that shift. God Almighty, you will do something. Your God, there will be a flow. There will be a grace. There will be a taste of your anointing. A taste of your presence that we've never seen before. Which we will be causing in this house. Lord, we know it and we believe it. Even some of you, as you live here tonight, you will have, have experienced a sign of what God will do. A sign of a call, a sign of encounter. Something new will happen. As many that have been, you know, that have been having offense with you, having bitterness against you, they will reconcile this moon. Something new is about to happen in your life, wherever you're watching from. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we receive finances. Hanama Lord, we receive finances. Finances for the church. Finances for individuals. In the name of Jesus. Father, we receive new souls. Father, we see new souls coming here. 
coming into this church to be part of this commission in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for a great anointing on Elevet in the month of April in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for great anointed teachers among the children ministry. Okay, great anointed leaders and workers, committed people, Lord, overflowing grace on Sundays, even on Mondays we have a young people program on Easter Monday, let there be an overflowing anointing in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask for an overflowing every day we gather in the month of April and beyond. Oh Lord, there shall be no dry Sunday. There shall be no Sunday we go back empty of a flow of your word of a flow of revelation of a flow of wisdom of a flow of deliverance of a flow of empowerment of a flow of impact of a flow of knowledge namako in the name of Jesus hallelujah overflow everybody shout overflow 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 Everybody shall rain of God fall right now. Rain of his presence for the month of April fall right now. Rain of healing begin to fall in this church right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you are, God is healing you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is healing you. I want you to watch your life this morning. There's going to be a difference. In the name of Jesus. The word I've gone out of this altar will not return to the Lord void. And it will not return to you void in the name of Jesus. The deliverance you receive, you shall maintain. The healing you have received, you shall maintain. The peace you desperately desire, you shall maintain. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we will see manifestation. Lord, we pray for KMG's Abuja. We break every struggle. We break every confusion there. We come against anything, any any battle of the enemy. To subdue that church, we deposit the fire from this altar in KMG's altar in Abuja. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for the pastor David there. Release your grace upon him. Give him uncommon wisdom. We pray for Pastor Ngozi. Give him uncommon wisdom. All the workers and leaders, we pray for uncommon grace over them. Grant them something they never had before. In the month of April, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we thank you for what you're doing. Oh Lord, we bless your name for all that you've released in this month of April in the name of Jesus. We thank you we have, as we have commanded this month to be our fruit, so shall it be. It shall indeed be the month of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit, we control everything we do. The Holy Spirit will lead us in every way we take, in every path we follow. Let the Holy Ghost be our leader in the name of Jesus. Thank you for what you're doing right now. And thank you for what you will do in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of grace begin to enter into places where men of God fear to enter. In the name of Jesus, let the spirit of God begin to enter into places where men begin to enter. May God, may the spirit of God begin to follow you to enter where places men, oh God, are afraid of entering. Do what you've not been able to do in the last years and month. In the name of Jesus, and Lord, we decree that KMG Abuja, we witness the glory of the Lord. We witness the power of the Lord. That we know the taste of the glory of God. 
oh God, we remove every veil and mask and wall that is walling that church. We break it down. And we ask your spirit to enter and do what you've never done before, Lord. Take over that church in Abuja and be the Lord of Abuja church in the name of Jesus. Be the Lord of the man of God and lead him and, and empower him and give him strength that he needs. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If you're watching online, we're going to close this prayer right now. I want you to receive the healing that you need. Receive the grace that you desire. Receive the growth that you desire. If you are pastoring, I ask for anointing. I ask for an anointing for the next level. I ask for anointing you've never had before. Anointing you've never enjoyed before. Anointing you've never experienced before. Let it cloud you right now in the name of Jesus. If you're a business person, I ask doors of business to be open unto you in the name of Jesus. I ask the Holy Ghost to open doors of business unto you in the name of Jesus. If you're having marriage crisis and instability, I speak life into your marriage and relationship in the name of Jesus. If you're a student, I release grace and wisdom, ability and capacity to possess you from heaven in the name of Jesus. Whatever you desperately desire, we release. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, King of King. Thank you, Lord of Lord. If you're a music minister, receive oh unveiling. <laughs> Let there be an unveiling the spirit spiritual unveiling let god unveil your mind give you songs anoint your tongue in the name of jesus in whichever area you need the grace of god i say the grace is coming to you right now the grace is knocking on your door right now in the name of jesus thank you holy ghost if you are a worker, receive strength and grace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. If you are, if you have a revelation, please, we want you to quickly come and share what God gives to you. We have 10 minutes to do that. If anything God received during this prayer, any experience you heard, if you, if, you, if you have any experience in the midst of this prayer, please do come right now. Can we have another microphone and share your experience with us? Let's see what God is, let's hear what God is saying. Amen. You want to hear your experience? If you had a revelation, had a special experience, please come and share with us before we share the grace. Oh, Lord, this month is called, today is our commanding the moon day because of the Easter Amen. Holiday is supposed to be three days prayers every morning. So we're just doing one day. We're having service here tomorrow morning by 10 o'clock. Amen. Because it's we, you know, Easter weekend. So we are not you know, doing all the three days of commanding your month. Amen. Just one day. But we're going to be here tomorrow. And we're going to be here on Sunday again. But if you have something, please do come and share with us. Anybody? Anybody have something? Please come. Oh, Lord, be bold to share with us. Be bold to share with us. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, glory to God, church. Amen. Um, so what I was saying, it was such a powerful prayer. So thank you so much, Apostle. Yeah. We thank you. Um, but it was such a powerful prayer. I started seeing like um, this whole altar being turned into grass. No, that, that, that thing is too it's basic. Baby, yeah. Yeah, uh, the white one. You, you, this one. Okay. I'll bring another one. Um, but anyways, I saw the altar turning into grass, and God was just showing that, showing me that it's fertile, it's fertile land, and whatever you sow, you reap in this land. So I was just like thanking God for that. The altar is turning into grass. Yes, it was turning into grass, meaning that it is fertile. Yeah, hallelujah. So we just want to thank God. And I was just, um, I was just seeing that God is going to use every person um, if we really open ourselves up to the Holy Spirit. So everyone can be used by the Holy Spirit. And that is his desire to use all of us in the kingdom of God to bring the word of God to people and to just show like miracles and miracles and miracles upon miracles. So God, we just receive it. And also I was um, sitting over there. Oh, God was just saying that you experienced my abundant grace. So God, we receive abundant grace in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We receive that green altar, that green grass altar. 
the altar has become a fertile place. Anyone will come, we see a grass to eat. In the name of Jesus. Another person, we want to do it fast. Alabando. Be free. Do not go back home with what you saw tonight. If God show you something, if you know it's from the Lord, make sure you don't go back. Amen with it. Amen. Holy Ghost and fire, and he's keeping me alive. Keeping you alive. Keeping us alive. And his Holy Ghost and fire, he's keeping us alive. Jesus is keeping us alive. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I honor God for the confirmation tonight. Again, it's coming so fresh. You know those young people down there, out there along the coast, they are marching up in the rain and they are coming right up here Amen. and they are to be received in the name of Jesus. And secondly, we again are to sow a seed tonight. Amen. 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 Yeah. For his glory. Amen. For the first day of the month. Amen. We command the young people to begin to come in wherever they are in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you have something, please come share with us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, <coughs> last week, Apostle prayed for me. And after he prayed for me, I'd had a lot of pain in my legs. And the pain went. Uh, but I'm just a bit unsteady on my legs. Or I'm not, I'm not believing that I'm unsteady on my legs. It's a little bit harder for me to walk now. And so I, I prayed tonight uh, when the Apostle prayed that uh, my, I'd be able to walk strongly and Amen. steadily. And I'm believing God for that. That's going to happen. Amen. And the other thing that I just wanted to say was that uh, today my next door neighbour had said he'd been putting in drain in it. And there were people that coming today to put in, I've forgotten what they call it, I've got to have mine done too. But um, I, I, he said something to me, and I said to him, uh, he'd had an operation before, he still was having trouble with his hand. I said, well, why don't you go to church with your wife? His wife is goes to church I used to go to. And I said, why don't you go to church with your wife and get prayed for? And uh, that was last time. And then today I said again to him, uh, how is your wife? How are you getting on? He said to me, I don't listen to my wife. I said, you need to. If you don't listen to your wife before you die, you'll be sorry. Amen. Amen. Let's listen to our wives. <laughs> Amen. I want to hear exactly what we receive, sir. Yeah. From, yeah. from the prayers. From the prayers, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I'm only confirming what she's saying. Now, on um, Monday this week, as some of you might know, I was sharing this thing on abundance of life. Abundance of life. And then there was abundance of grace. Amen. Now, today, uh, and as you were sharing about the abundance of grace, this is something that I picked up from YouTube. It says, it says this is a fuel from heaven. What we've got here tonight was all fuel from heaven. Amen. I mean, volume. Somebody online is saying volume, all right, volume, please. Yeah, yeah. Check, yeah. Um, oh, no, because I, I had it down here. Hello? Oh. Yeah, and um, this is how to ask for grace, for abundance of life. Uh, tonight I'm going to, um, I know Apostle's been praying, but I was also I want to decree a prayer for all of us. And this is a daily prayer, every day. Okay, so, and this is be done early in the morning, every day from now on. This is going to be a new month. Amen. Every morning, and this is how you pray it. Father, repeat after me. Father, Father I, ask for I ask for and receive, and receive grace, grace for, this day. for this day. Amen. Amen. Simple. 
and do it for this whole week and come back and testify what's been happening to you because I believe something will happen to you through that simple prayer because through that you will receive the abundance of life. Amen. Okay, what you were saying is abundance of grace. So you are praying for a father. You are, I ask for and receive grace. Amen. This is abundance of grace. What you're saying here is abundance of grace. That's what we're praying into this, for this month. Amen. 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 Anybody want a copy? Take it. Pick it up online. Amen. Amen. God bless you, man of God. Hallelujah. Another person. Another person, please. Praise the Lord. Yeah, it's it's loud here now. I thank God that um, when. Praise the Lord. Amen. I thank God for the past two weeks I've not been in the church. But uh, by the special grace of God, I was in a very serious pain. Stepping my foot on the ground is very hard for me. Yeah. But um, at, as it is now, I can't stand straight at least. I thank God that after this prayer, I'm able to stand. Amen. As the prayer was going on, praise be to God. When I stand up, when the apostle was uh, praying about the uh, Holy Ghost yeah. to take over, I saw some stars, different colors of stars, different colors of stars everywhere. And it's that stars that pushed me up. And from then, my legs started standing up a little bit. Hallelujah. From then, I got myself. And I saw little kids around this area. Amen. Kids fill up the whole of this place. Amen. I don't know what they are doing, but all I know is that I saw kids. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Receive your own stars. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Little kids are blessings. Amen. Amen. They are riches. They are, they are arrows in the hand of warriors. Amen. One of the reasons we ask, because that place is open, so we don't want the camera to follow you too close to, you know, because of the background. Yeah. Come. Hallelujah. Amen. God is doing something new. Amen. Uh, I just received an encounter with God um, that he is going to move us to another level. Those who are believing Amen. God. For miracles, I see um, when I fell under the anointing, and it's the altar here that is is going to help us. Um, yeah. The grace of God that's going to help us, and I believe that everyone's going to receive it today, and we're just gonna yeah. praise God for it. Yeah. Thank Amen. You. Receive from receive the grace from the altar for your for your for your for your for your mercies. For your deliverance, for your healing, and for your need in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Another person, please. If you have something, come share with us so we can share the grace. You go back home and enjoy your bed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hello. Shalabando, Solabando. Wow. Man. Just this morning it was raining. And for, you know, in the Bible, it talks about a farmer must know his season. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, it is the time to grow. Eh? And what, what I got this morning was, as it is in heaven, let it be done on earth. Amen. Amen. So there's an atmosphere that's changing. There's a fresh anointing. The rain represents a fresh anointing. Mm -hmm. and, and we've experienced this tonight. And there's no, um, no wonder that there's grass here. Because, you know... I just need to say this. I was contemplating, should I say it? Should I not? Should I say it? But you know what? <laughs> I'm going to say it. <laughs> you know, my dad was a man of faith. And, you know, um, we built a building, $3 million. $3 million it took. No one had money. We prayed and fasted. And we got it. <laughs> you know, I believe I've seen the miracle happen. And I know, I know God can do it again. Mm. And and the thing is, is that <clears throat> my dad's passed away now, and you know, all glory to God, he's in heaven. Great, yes, Amen. cheering us on. But I found a new man. Amen. I found a man of God, a man of God that knows how to push on to the deep. Amen. You know, before I came to KMGC, my wife will <laughs> agree with me. You know, we went to churches, and I'm sorry to say, but laziness. Mm. 
you know, um, Jesus is gone. He's, he said, I'm preparing a house for you, but I'm leaving you the Holy Spirit. Mm. I commission you, go out, preach the gospel, mm. raise the dead, mm. heal the sick. I believe that this church is going to go back to what God wants it to be Hallelujah. in Acts. If you read Acts, I challenge you, read Acts, because the fire of God hit the room. And every, a fire of God set on every single person. And this is it. This is my prophecy. This is the prophecy that's already been in the Bible. Here we go. This is the prophecy. When we walk down the street, they're going to bring out the sick. Amen. That when we walk past it, Amen. our shadows Amen. will heal. Amen. Why? Because we're in the spirit of God. And those that are sons of God are led by the Spirit of God. Amen? Amen. So I just, oh, this is such, and a couple of, um, I think, weeks ago, I had this vision of um, sifting with flour. Mm. And, um, you know, the, the, the stuff that's left behind isn't ready. You can't bake bread with the unready flour. Mm -hmm. So what God said to me was, this flour is just doing, and, and the more that comes in, we're just sifting. And we're sifting, sifting the people because God wants a heart. He wants a heart of God. He wants Amen. a new creation. Amen. We are royal priesthood. And you know, just tonight with that no condemnation, well, you know who you are. Amen. You know who you are. You're nothing without God. Amen. But in God, you're a royal priesthood, Amen. a holy nation, a son of God. Amen. Amen. I'm just, yeah, I love God. <laughs> I love you, God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Jim. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Josh, amen. amen. Know who you are. Know who you are, amen. Any more person before we call it a quit just for tonight? Because we are coming to my... Remember, it's also Easter weekend, right? It's going to be break for everyone, so we can sleep in there. Many churches now having conference during this Easter. Many of them are having camping. Hello? Eh? Amen. Amen. Maybe another time, every Easter, we do like a mini conference. Just to make sure people are not lazy at home. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> Amen. Honestly. Awesome. All right. We want to thank God. I believe, I know what God was born in the spirit. I feel it at the time when we pray and push and push. The atmosphere, the natural. You know, sometimes there's certain A, you know. Now, if you have, what, what is it that, that sucks A? Okay, do you know that thing? That's, I didn't, that thing was just ringing. I didn't even remember what I wanted to say, but I, I know that something was ringing in my spirit. <laughs> you hit me. You know, when you have this vacuum, it's not even vacuum. What you have to, that sucks the A in the room. What do you call it? Purifier. So, now, nah, thank you, Holy Ghost. At the time when we were praying, okay? We're praying, we're pushing. It feels like in the spirit, it feel that the natural air, the natural atmosphere was sucked away. Okay? That was what I was feeling. Then the, the place become thick in the spirit. It's not, it can no longer feel the natural. I don't know if any of you feel that. You no longer feel the no more atmosphere. You know that something has taken over in the spirit. Something like bought. I was no longer, I was, it, 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 can easily, easily, it can easily float. On that atmosphere, because the natural air that you're breathing was just, you know, sucked out. And it's like we're breathing the air of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and when things begin to happen like that, you know that God is burning something. Amen. And this is what God wants us to do. I, I think we're going to have, maybe we're going to have mid-month, mid-year conference. Maybe mid-year. <laughs> mid-year, maybe it cannot become, even if it's two, day, two, two days. Amen. So let's just come and see God. The more we see God, the more something breaks. But if you seek him, seek him, then you pull back. It's like, the, you know, the, all the gain you've made reduces, you know. All the momentum that I've gathered, you know, diminishes again. But if you, you want to see, one of the guys God is using in my country, mildly, about 80,000 people, the only pastor on earth, that having 75 to 18,000 people watching him online every day from Monday to Friday. Hey, listen, somebody. No pastor, you can say that you see about eight, 75 to 80,000 people. You know? So, this guy said he used to pray for 10 years, four hours every night, completely for 10 years. Wow. Now, he said he's not surprised. Then this thing began to happen during this lockdown. 
So he felt that, you know, when there was lockdown, he didn't know what to do. Okay, he started online prayer. J- Pastor Jerry and the wife. I wanted to, they call NSPPD. Some of you may have seen that. 18,000 people, something thousand. Any day less people watch him, if he ever, maybe it's 50 to 40,000. As of yesterday, it was about 75,000 or 76, watching him every day. Hello? How did that happen? Through prayer. So I was talking, I was discussing with my wife yesterday. She said, you also know that we have prayed all that kind of prayer here. She said, that's exactly the same thing we've been doing over these years. That everything have time. That God will bought something in this nation. So please, God's people, let's believe that God is about. Even during the lockdown, during that lockdown, I was into, almost all through that lockdown, I was into prayer. I was into fasting and prayer. I went into about 80 something days fasting and prayer. During that lockdown, when other people were busy doing their own stuff, I was seeking the Lord every day. And remember, every day I was doing podcasts, every day I was preaching, I was ministering. So I believe that, thing, that momentum is building in this house. Amen. Amen. Let's take advantage and see God do something. When you live here tonight, know that God has purified any, any weight, any burden. Don't go back feeling the same way you came. Don't go back feeling I'm done, it's not working, it's not, no, no, no. Go back, the word been preached. Okay, go back with the word, believe it. This month, we have no reason to receive no fun answer. We have no reason to not dive, to go down, to go low, no reason. It's a month of uncommon Holy Ghost move. Any day you're coming to church, come for what? Bath with the Holy Ghost. Come to have some bath. Actually, our Sunday services is called celebration services. Hello. So thank you for coming. And we'll see here again tomorrow. May we stand up and share Holy Ghost grace. <laughs> Hallelujah. The young people will be having a mini meeting here on Monday from 9 o'clock, right? To about, is it 6 o'clock? We're going to have a, a, a young man who will come in to speak, who will be part of our speakers. So bring your friends, please, all the young folks, bring your friends, amen. Okay, amen. Anybody want to share the grace for me? Anybody? I love that. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm trying to think how to explain it. When I, I was, that's why I was like the, Permitting comes to an end. I'm still closing my eyes because I don't want to. I don't want my eyes to take off from the, the scene that I since I'm coming, been coming to permitting. So I um, this is the first time I've saw something in the front of the of the altar. So it's like a it's like a holy place. It's like a holy place. I saw um, the silky material like hanging around here, like it's hanging in the air. It's all over here, but there's not, nothing in the front of here, but. I was thinking of um, how to explain this kind of, um, it's a different atmosphere. It's like it's all holy in front of here. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen something here since I come to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, and the wings come and it's like, uh, like go up and, you know, like <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, that's what I saw. <laughs> Maybe your time to share the grace. <laughs> Yeah, you can. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for tonight. Thank you for everyone in this house, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for the vision that you show us tonight, oh Lord. Thank you. Thank you for bringing us together, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. Uh, I pray for your blood to cover each one of us is in this place when we go home, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless each and every one of us in this place, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Give you the praise and give you the glory for tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless everyone. Thank you for coming. And those of you online, God bless you. See you on tomorrow morning by 10 a.m. We are coming for Easter, Easter program. I mean, Easter service is going to be great here on Sunday. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you, our camera woman, uh, Princess Audrey. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs>